Paul McGuire Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Josh, it is really great talking to, to you today. Before we talk about Central Park, I just want to tell you how much I loved Reunited Apart, and the Lord of the Rings episode was just so magical and lovely and just what I needed last year, so thank you for that. Oh, I really appreciate that. It was um, it was amazing to bring so much joy to people at a time when they needed it the most and, and to raise money for such good causes. So I uh, I love hearing that. Thank you. Now, I've heard from other actors that have done animated work recently that they had to record their voices in a closet and a bathroom. Did you have to do that during the pandemic for this? And how did you make all that work? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, well, surrounded by pillows in a closet. Um, you know, I, I, I am enormously grateful that we have such an incredible group of people working on Central Park that made the transition from recording in a studio uh into uh, recording it from our homes so effortless and easy um but it was it was surreal i mean singing not only recording but singing songs uh from home and, and recording them and hoping that the quality matches what we've done before was a, a unique challenge uh but one that we all met pretty quickly uh, right. and it's a testament to our incredible crew and cast I mean, we always have good acoustics when we sing in the shower. So I can imagine be like, yes, I'm going to record this song in the shower now. No, never tried that. Uh, definitely <laughs> something to keep in mind for season three. Right. Uh, but but, but uh, never tried that. Now, were there creative choices that you wanted to explore with season two that you didn't think you could maybe get away with with the first season? Oh, yeah. I mean, we we take such bold swings. I mean, there there is literally an episode where there's a six-minute violin piece with no dialogue. Uh, there is um, a, a level of experimentation in season two that I think takes the show to, a, to frankly, a, a, a new level of quality um, that we didn't necessarily feel uh, ready to explore in season one because we were still introducing these characters in this world. But um, I, I think season two is just absolutely spectacular. Uh, the music, which was already brilliant in season one, I think is doubly uh, exciting in season two. Uh, the cast has never been better, uh, you know, uh, including our new addition, uh, brilliant uh, Emmy Raver Lampman. Uh, we're, we're just over the moon. It's, it's just been such a thrill. She has a really powerful number, and I think episode three or four that I really loved, and it was just such a, a different tone than some of the other music in the show. Yep, it, yeah, it, it it is, I think, one of the breakout songs of the season uh, called Trying Too Hard, and it, yeah. is, um, it, is, it is so beautiful, written uh, extraordinarily by uh, Kate and Elisa, who are uh, our muses on Central Park and, and, uh, and, and Emmy is just, she's next level. And, and we are so grateful to have her. How often do you walk around Central Park and see someone or something odd happening? And you're thinking, I'm going to have to incorporate that in the show. Cause it's just too bizarre to be true. Well, I wish I walked around Central Park more. The <laughs> truth is, is I haven't been, uh, since, uh, the pandemic broke out. And, and, uh, the last time that I was there though, I actually did, I can't help myself, I took a bunch of reference videos for us, things that I saw, um, you know, people doing things in the park, um, animals in the park, and uh, and I share them with uh, my co-creators, Lauren, Nora, and our brilliant showrunners, Kelvin and Steven. Uh, but but yeah, I'm always looking for things, not only in Central Park, but, but in any environment like that. Well, Josh, I got the wrap signal. It was really great talking today. I really enjoyed season two. And uh, congrats on the renewal for season three already. That's really great. Thank you so much. Uh, pleasure to speak to you as well. And, and cannot wait uh, to share this with everyone June 25th.